Hey everybody, Yogi Davis here. I hope you're having a great Easter. I was talking to a buddy the other day and he said, you should make a video on how to cut uh, rubber for your saddle horn. So I decided that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, this saddle is the saddle that I ride at Ranch Rodeos. Um, and I also team rope out of it. And so I already have some hog hide on here. Um, which is great. You have to have it for the ranch rodeos. Uh, some uh, buckaroo type outfits in the desert, they get pretty mad when you have rubber. So most of my saddles that I ride inside and outside have hide underneath them. But it's time to start team roping again. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up with some rubber. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is the type of inner tube that I use. I don't particularly like pre-cut um, rubber that you can buy from different companies. I, uh, I like to do it myself and, and kind of pick out the rubber that I want to use. And so I like to get an inner tube that's about, um, about this size. Uh, semi truck inner tubes are really easy to find, but they're not a very good way to go, um, because the diameter is so big. So when you, take that huge strip of rubber and you wrap your horn, you may only get one or two pieces on your horn. And if you dally and it breaks, when it does finally decide to break, you'll lose all your rubber at one time and your rope will start running and it can, can turn into a wreck. And so I like lots of smaller diameter pieces. Um, so something to think about when you're cutting your rubber is, the inside diameter of your inner tube is less than the outside. So if as you go along, you cut perfectly straight strips, eventually you're gonna to get to a place where you have more outside than the inside and it's gonna make a V and you're gonna to have to cut back to a straight line and you're gonna waste big old chunks of rubber. Um, I use a pocket knife because I pretty much always have one on me. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable, scissors work absolutely great too and are actually probably even a little bit more uh, accurate. But, um, so when I cut my inner tube, I like to start at like a, about a half inch or so. And then I work my way down towards like three quarters of an inch or an inch. And that'll keep me cutting um, straight with the diameter of the tube. Um, and that's not a great piece, but, uh, I'll do it again here. It's still a very usable piece. So as you can see, I'm kind of cutting to where this ends a little thinner and this ends a little thicker. And that's going to keep me using the entirety of my inner tube instead of having to throw some out. So same deal. And then if you just put a little bit of tension on it, it cuts really easy. All right, I have some pre-cut pieces up here. Um, when I wrap it, the more, the more groovy you can make it, the better your rope's gonna bite. So if you just take it and throw it on here, you're gonna have kind of big old surface areas. So I like to fold it in half and put a little tension on it. I like to start at the back and you can see how right here, it's kind of folding over itself and making it a little more circular. And what that does is you can see it, it gives you places for your rope to really grab and bite into. So I like to start with my very bottom piece and then I just keep doing the same thing and I go like right here to the top of this piece. Okay. And I just keep rolling it on there. Um. A lot of times I like to put my thicker piece down here at the bottom, right? So I got my, my thicker side and my thinner side. 
And one thing I want to avoid is getting a groove down here. If you rope for any amount of time, you've probably seen somebody at a roping or rodeo get the rope stuck down here in a groove and then they can't get it out and they're trying to ride up and get close enough to the steer that they can get some slack in it and get it ripped out. So to avoid that, I really like to get right down here on the bottom of my saddle horn and make sure I get good rubber down in there. And that's why I like putting that thicker piece down on my bottom wrap. Um, how much rubber you use is kind of personal preference. I like enough to know that my rope's not gonna run, but I don't like so much that I have a big old giant um, saddle horn. So same deal. Now I'm gonna, I did one more on the bottom. I'm gonna come up here, do one more on the top. And as you can see by folding it over, it gives you all this nice area that your rope can really get into and grab onto instead of just having like this big old flat spot like that. Um, so that's about how much rubber I like. This is what I'd use at a jackpot or rodeo. Um, it's small enough that I can get a wrap really fast, but it's, uh, uh, but it's thick enough that my rope's not going to run. I'm going to be able to really get a good hold. I really hope this video helps some of you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please uh, feel free to ask them. And uh, please like and subscribe my video. And I'll try to keep doing more little instructional videos on team roping and some other stuff. Take care. Have a blessed Easter.